What's up? Good morning, guys. Uh, it's about, let's see, 5 o'clock right now in Venice Beach. Today will be my, probably, technically my official first day to start my community labor here in Venice Beach. So I gotta go and I gotta start vlogging after because I can't really use my camera and vlog while I'm doing this. So see you guys in eight hours. Whoa! Just finish for eight hours. Eight hours is actually quite long. It's kind of like you working eight hours a day. Yeah, like nine to five job. And so I still have the half of the day for myself. I can do stuff. Today is not really like a nice weather day. Look at the weather. It's just crappy. And Mr. Coldy here having a really bad day because he broke his phone. Why do you drop it, bro? It's too slippy. Uh, that's the thing. That's the thing about iPhone six. Right here, like here, it's just really hard to grab. So I think it's really easy to drop. But right now, sometimes using this one, like the battery charging, is easier to grab. If I don't have it, it's really easy to drop. And apparently, he dropped it today, and it become a sp spider web iPhone. If I put it in here. It doesn't fit. Oh, that's what she said. Hey, it's like, hey, amigo. Hey, amigo. That's a Mexican white boy. <laughs> so how does it feel, bro? What? I have a shitty phone now. It feels stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna get a new one? You should get iPhone 6 Plus. No. Just get a. A new screen. I want to tell you guys, um, I will be flying to another state tomorrow night. So I'm thinking if I should tell you guys right now, or should I tell you guys tomorrow when I'm about to fly? Maybe I'll tell you tomorrow. I'm just gonna keep it as a secret for now. And also, I'll be flying to another country next month. I'll give you a little hint. I'll be in Asia. Whatever country you're from, if you're in from Asia, put it in the comment section below. Maybe I'll go to that country. We'll see. I will let you guys know when I will be going sometime in July. And then maybe I can do a fan meet up there or I might be filming there. It should be interesting. So basically, I'm actually going for a family reunion thing for a week and I'll be back. Time to finally eat and that's another thing about community service when we do that with eight hours you cannot well you can't eat only during the break but you cannot buy food at all anywhere so we have to bring our own food or snack or anything otherwise you'll be starving until you finish that's why this is basically my breakfast lunch kind of and that's Cody's I didn't feel tired at all after the community service but now after I ate Man, I feel like my like I, eyes are getting like heavier and heavier and heavier and heavier. And now we're back in Venice Beach after we eat that beautiful Thai food. Another good day in Venice Beach now. You feeling good, bro? After you got your coffee, you what? Into shit now. That's what happened when we eat too much of spicy food. You just gotta go, you know? But yeah, we're gonna go meet out uh, our manager at Muscle Beach. He actually is, he's from New York, but he's flying here to, uh, to meet us and we're gonna talk some business and you know, catch up. And it's funny, while we were working, there was no sun, it was just a bunch of clouds. And now look at it. A beautiful weather. But actually this might be better I think because if I'm working and then the sun is super huge, I'll be sweating so much. So actually now it's better I think instead of like while you're working and it has so much sun in your face. I'm just gonna record you while you're taking a dump. I'll see you guys Ready? later. Ready? Yeah, go for it. Uh, ow! That is some beautiful, talented painting. Look at that detail. Oh, there's my helicopter. 
gonna be on it maybe in a couple hours. I'm always fascinated by arts like this. It looks so cool. So a lot of you guys asked us before like why we always film in Venice and you know like why so many pranks are always filming in Venice. The answer is easy and simple. Here is like the most weirdest, craziest people around. So we always get the best reactions and lots of tours around here. So it's kind of like a culture. So if you prank someone, most likely they won't get angry knowing that after we told them it's a prank. And they usually have the best reactions. And of course, this is one of my b-boy homies doing their thing. Get it, son. You know it. They hustle, hustle every day here, Venice Beach. The horse cop. When I was in London, you guys told me, oh, the London cop ride a horse. But actually, they ride, they ride a horse in LA too, Venice Beach. So, not just London, they ride a horse. We ride a horse here in Venice Beach too. What's up, bro? <laughs> what up, man? What up, man? How you been? I'm How you been? Damn, look at this red body. Oh, before? Oh, we gotta shoot. We gotta shoot after. <laughs> What's up, man? What's up, man? How you doing? Up, it's dude? my manager, Keith. You good? How are you? Woo! Reporting for duty. Yeah. Oh, and man. this is Kevin. Like your hair. Kevin. Expert DJ. Gotta flow it. Yeah, I gotta YouTube. try it. I, like it. I feel the yeah, power. Yeah. yeah. Damn, that's man in black. Yeah. <laughs> what? Where, where's your pen at? Where's your pen at? <laughs> We just forgot. Okay, I gotta walk this way now. Dude, I play so much GTA, I know exactly where I am because of the game. I'm like, the airport's down there. Is it actually correct? It's just like the game, man. <laughs> I was like, the airport's down there. We're at Muscle Beach. Yeah, the pier's over there. Yeah. Past there is the okay, tell, tell us how, how many people you have killed in this beach. Dude, I've gotten to some serious battles on this beach. Yeah, you got GTA. five star. I've battled people got, in the Muscle oh, Beach area. Yeah, I've you got, got five right, star. Five star helicopter coming. I had coming. SWAT coming after me out here, man. <laughs> I got real SWAT coming at me, though. I've been there. <laughs> He had real swag. Yeah. You gotta be careful with him. He's always getting in trouble. Nah, nah, nah. I don't try to, but you know. No, he's always getting in trouble. <laughs> Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. I wasn't going to live, but I just can't resist the weight. Gotta do a couple sets. Then I feel good. But the thing is, I haven't worked out for a month while I was in Europe, so. Hopefully I don't puke, but if I puke, that will be the thumbnail. I decided to go back to the car and change because I would literally start working out a little bit with a freaking jeans. Not a good idea and I never work out with the jeans. So you know what? I'm gonna go to the car, change and sh properly and then we go back and hit up the gym with that. So as you guys know, Venice had a lot of interesting stuff and tourist stuff. And as I walk into the car to get to change, I run into this interesting house with all the statues and I don't even know what you call that, but yeah. That's the interesting and the beauty of Venice Beach. What you think is crazy, is weird, it's normal here. So all the weirdo out there, this is your home. Welcome. Woo. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I am sweating. I'm finally at the parking lot where we park. Gotta change and walk back there. It has been what, uh, 20 minutes. So hopefully yeah, this still work out by the time I walk back. Let's see. Now I'm finally changed and ready to go work out. But the one thing annoying is that because uh, it's my first day of coming in labor because maybe I used the maybe I used the wrong way or I'm not sure because like I was working out and like you can see my skin is like falling off and both hands actually that hand and also this hand so I think that might be a little annoying when I work out but hopefully not we'll see how it goes <laughs> bro Dude, I have no on. idea why in the world you park your car so freaking far you got lost, dude. You got time to do it's like 40 out. minutes, dude. Like all the way walk there, take me like 20, 30 minutes, and walk all the way back. Yeah, like like, minutes like right now, I don't even have energy no more. Now we just finished working out. Uh, they're gonna go drop us off to the car, so we don't have to walk freaking 30 minutes again. 
And then I think they're gonna go eat some food. I'm not sure, but I am still full. I'm so glad that I didn't puke while working out today. So that I'm happy. All these vegan people want to eat some vegetable only. I don't think I'm gonna eat any. I'm just gonna have water and I'm good. Is that real? That's real. Oh, snap. <laughs> I thought it was just a sample, but it's actually real. This place is literally a vegan everything, as you can see, like, all the floors. Kevin here say, like, he's about to try some right here. Some salad, just pick it up and eat it. When I used to have hair, but I cut it off. Let me see, let me see. Hold that's on. That's what I looked like at Plano, that's what I saw you. Oh, I think a little bit now, yeah. yeah that's what my hair looks like. I, I show you when I have dreads, right? Nah, dude, I showed it to you, right? Yes, you had dress. Oh wait, yeah, you showed, I, me, I showed yeah, you. you showed me. I showed it to you. Okay, okay. For those who didn't see, I have dress. Let me show you guys. I like your hair dress. Very cool. So it was funny because I had that, and it's like I was like, okay, I was like having blonde dress, and I wear like a sunglasses, and the black guy came out to me and said, "Yo, are you half black?" And I'm like, "Yeah, bro, I'm half black." And he actually believed me. For those who don't know. I used to be a background dancer for Teach Me How to Dougie, that music video. You were in there? Yeah, I was in that I'm music video. That music video okay, if you go on the music video, you see a guy with blonde dread wearing a white shirt with red that's pants. That's right? It's West Hollywood. We showed, yeah, we showed in West Hollywood. So that's what I look like. Oh, that was Cat Daddy that was at Venice. Yeah, the Cat Daddy was, uh, yeah. That's what I look like when I had dress. I know it doesn't look like me, but yeah. Yeah, let me see this. Dude, yeah, I remember you showed me that. Yeah, it was like a music video. It was like two years total, and I caught, I caught it, yeah. That's, that's the No, after, okay, after I had dress, I become a zebra. See, this is a zebra. That's what happened after I cut out dreads. Dang, dude. You had all the hair style. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, by the way, this is Paige. This is Key's girlfriend. Forgot to introduce you. She never had dreads. Never had dreads. Never had I like dreads though. You should try it. You had the you had the you ready to go. Wait, you I remember you say you used to have what purple hair. It's mine. I wanna see you with purple hair. <laughs> Will you try with purple hair? I'll do purple hair. Yeah? Yeah! What's that? <laughs> Why not, man? You kind of have a little afro going on right now. <laughs> He's got yeah. yeah. I need to get an afro back. Yeah, you, you could. I Wait. Started. I started. But hold on, your hair is like that, but it's actually like pretty long, right? If you like nah, pull dude, it. It's actually pretty short. My hair. So your hair is clarity. Have you ever wished you have a straight hair? Nah, man. I just. You will ever. I don't think the perm look is for me. I'm no? not Pat Williams. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not pimping out here like that. I think Cody should try like cornrows. <laughs> cornrows. Yeah. You about to die it. Yeah, I think, uh, I want to see what you look like. Yeah, didn't Justin Timberlake have cornrows? Oh yeah, for yeah, sure. Justin Timberlake had cornrows back in NC. Yeah. Remember. So I'm here at this uh, organic uh, drinks place and look at all the drinks. They have so many different kind of ingredients. And I just tried out this one. It has uh, almonds, cinnamon, dates, nuts, blah blah blah. So tell me, guys. I was thinking maybe I can do like a vlog challenge with another vlogger. One of us just like picks maybe a couple of this, and then we each other has to guess like what kind of ingredients in there. And then whoever loses maybe just makes the most nasty stuff to get out of drinking. So put in the comment section below, let me know if you guys have a good idea if you actually do that challenge. Voila, voila, that's my drink. Oh yes, yeah, lightweight. Yellow diamond. So that's my yellow diamond here. I'm gonna try it out. See if it tastes like yellow diamond. This is bomb. <laughs> good. Yeah, really good. Oh, you got the same one? Damn. Yeah. I love it. If you guys live around here, you should come check out this. It's called Yellow Diamond. It looks good. Dude, I might get another one. Oh my god. It is like so. <laughs> it's tasty. It's not even like tastes like vegetable. It tastes like. I'm gonna grab another one. It tastes good. Oh, you know why? Because it has coconut milk. Do you guys like all yours? Yes. It's gone. It's nice. Oh yeah. I have no idea what that is, but it looks really dark. It looks like oil. 
Yes. What is it inside? It has lemon and the ingredients. Let's see. Uh, focus. Charlock. Chocolate. <laughs> Active choc charcoal. Ginger, coconut water, coconut sugar, lemon, canyon. Cayenne. Cayenne. Cayenne pepper, some spice in there. Damn, I don't know. If, I would try it, but it looks really black. Yeah, it looks like you're drinking. Want to try it? Yeah. <laughs> Looks like an oil change. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. We slept for like oh, yeah. hours. Look back up and try it, but I'm definitely. I, I, mean, I just had to try another one more. All 23 hours. Oh, so cool. Pin pink the. Can we do that job? We take like all of them. I think it's good. Like, nope. I don't know. Let's try it. Wow. Let's go. Wait, where to where? From Colorado to Pittsburgh. Denver to Pittsburgh. Yep. Yep. Three nights, 23 hours. Colorado to Nebraska, Nebraska to Chicago, Chicago to New York. And that's the best. I just went for it, man. Not bad. I hate. I didn't want to break it up. I'm like, I'm so so I think I like the I am, blue yellow deck. Cut my hair. This is good. Forced myself to drive 23 hours straight. I Finally back home now. Super tired, but it was definitely a fulfillment day because I woke up at 3:30, and all the way till now it's like 11, I think. So uh, I think <laughs> I think I will survive another 17 more days. Of this kind of days, actually, something like this in life, I <laughs> I try to think positive, so uh, I can think like, oh shit, you know, I have to go to come in labor, this bullshit, I have to wake up at three or four, and then go all the way, starts at five, and I have to do eight hours, blah blah blah. I can think like that in a negative way, or I can think as you know, in life, I feel like everything happens for a reason. So maybe what happens that be just because for me, I having problem of time management. So maybe because of that, I had to do 18 days. I actually probably could start waking up really early and have a full day for myself and I can do so much more and develop myself so much more. I don't know if you guys know, I think I told you guys before. So basically, if you wanna start doing something regularly and make it become your habits, you have to do it consistently for like about 21, eight, 21 days. That's like psychology or something. I read a lot of articles about it. So if I can continue to do this for 18 days and just three more days, my body will be really used to, to waking up early and then I can have a full day for myself. I can develop so much things. I want to focus on myself, my career, my fitness, whatever I want to do. I think so. I'm going to use this chance Instead of like a punishment, I might see it as an opportunity. And it also gave me a chance to kind of explore in uh, LA, like different stuff in LA, different restaurants, different things I can do in LA. So fortunately, I have some friends in LA and I can stay with them instead of driving back and forth. So I might just stay with a couple of different kind of friends in LA and maybe for a week or two and just get that thing done. And I will have a more an idea what it's like, more like to live in like downtown LA or more like West Hollywood, those area. Because I'm I'm thinking to move to more toward LA. If you guys don't know, I live in Orange County, but you know, in, in, around here people say we live in LA because Orange County, LA is so close. But then uh, I'm thinking maybe sometime this year I might move to LA. But when I say LA, maybe I'm thinking around Venice or Santa Monica because I just love the, love the beach environment, the culture, the vibes there. So hopefully we'll see if I can be able to do that and there's so much more, you know, YouTuber, Viners, all this talented people that I can film video with. So definitely that's something I want to consider and something that I want to look forward and move forward from that point. But for now, I'm going to just end the vlog here because I am exhausted. I don't know if you guys can tell. But yeah, thank you again for watching my vlog. I appreciate it. You guys are the best. I love you guys and see you guys tomorrow. Oh, and before that, I will tell you guys why I'll be flying tomorrow. So stay tuned on that. See ya. And I want you guys to meet my new girlfriend here or wife. I don't know. Hi. Yeah, sure. Then you're oh, yeah. oh, we, we just got married. So. He's pretty cheap. Seduce hey. my audience. Where are you from? Yeah, that's cool. Oh my god. <laughs>